Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Lizzie. If you're new here, please think about subscribing because I really don't have any subscribers yet because I'm super new on YouTube. So I really appreciate if you stick around, if you like the video and like me. I love everything to do with makeup, fashion, beauty, all sorts of stuff. I do my hair sometimes. I'm just here to have a good time and chat with you guys really. <laughs> In today's video, I have been sent a box of stuff from Poundland because they saw my TikTok where I reviewed Poundland makeup and then they wanted to send me some more. I am gonna give you my completely honest review of this makeup that they've sent me. Just because they've sent it me does not mean that I'm gonna change my opinion on it whatsoever. Um, and we're gonna see what's in here. So I've just done my skincare so that I've got like a nice clean base to start with. Pop my little ears on. This stuff is completely different generally to the stuff that I had last time. To be honest, all the stuff I reviewed last time, I was quite impressed with. Like considering it was Poundland makeup, it was really good quality. I think there was one foundation I wasn't that happy with, but then the other foundation, it was amazing. And I've used it loads of times since. The powder was incredible. They've actually sent me that powder again. So I will show you that because it's amazing. Um, and there's also a brow wax, which I am very, very intrigued by. So we'll see how good that is. A couple of nail polishes, which I don't know if I'm gonna do today, but I'll show you the colors anyway. So the first thing is this Prime Time Hydrating Primer. It says it's infused with vitamin E and glycerin. Actually it looks like it's kind of, foundation colored i'm not sure if you can see that on there but yeah interesting kind of smells like that foundation as well hang on i'm gonna get a mirror Ooh, it's soft it feels very like light and it does feel hydrating it's a really nice texture actually it's very smooth and it does feel like it's just sort of gliding into the skin but also kind of it does look like it's filling in some pores as well it does look quite nice on the skin a little bit more on my forehead just to really get that in there. I don't know if I used primer from there last time. I don't think I did. Oh so, yeah, this will be interesting to see how good this is. But to be honest, so far I'm really enjoying it. It's a really nice primer. Doesn't smell strong actually. Yeah, that once it's on your face, it's not that strong. Um, I feel like this is giving me a nice little glow just to start with. I'm gonna leave that to just sink in a little bit so it really gets working. And I'm gonna use the brow wax and the brow pencil as well. I don't actually know what colour they sent me. I hope they sent me the right colour. Oh yeah, that looks like a dark brown. That looks okay, I think. This is the It's A Fix brow wax. It's kind of like a just solid wax. I have no idea how I'm going to use this. I think I'm just going to like push it into my brows like that. And then there is a spoolie on the brow pen. Oh wow, this is actually doing quite well. Um. I think there was another brow product I used before and it didn't work that well, but I feel like this one might actually be working quite well. I'm gonna just go really in there, like fully rub it, rub it all in. <laughs> Looks crazy at the moment. Let me get my spoolie. This is the Fill Me In Brow Defining Pen. So you can see it comes with a spoolie on the end. Brush my brows up like that. Ooh quite soft it doesn't feel sticky or anything and it's also not made my brows super shiny which again is very good let's see if that stays I'm not sure if it is staying on the front there I think it is picking up quite quickly which I don't really mind too much because to be honest I don't really want like super solid brows like I'm not too bothered about having them like slicked back down onto my face um just because I feel like I quite like a natural brow look um, a little bit too, so that's not too bad. Let's see if we can fill it in a little bit with this. This looks quite dark. Have they sent me a black one? We'll, we'll see. I have a joint condition, so I always put these little like things on my products just to help me be able to grip them a little bit easier. So yeah, super easy hack. Also just generally good for anybody if you struggle to hold stuff. Um, right, let's draw some little hairs in. Oh, the colour actually looks pretty decent. It's not too dark. And I feel like it's going on quite nicely. Obviously not going to be able to do like super thin hair strokes because it is a pencil rather than like a pen. But I do feel like it's going on nice. It's got a nice shade to it. I would 100% use this as my normal brow pencil. I feel like that's gone on really nicely really easy to use. 
I'm really impressed so far. That's actually really good. The brow wax is definitely picking up a little bit now. I feel like it's not sticking down. I don't think that's going to last all day at all. But the brow pencil is really good. I'm really enjoying this and think it's a very nice brow pencil. Okay, so brows, I'm done. They've also sent me a liner, a liquid eyeliner. Now, apparently the Poundland liquid eyeliner is amazing. So I'm really excited to see what this is like. I'm not sure if I've tried a Poundland liquid liner before. I can't remember if I did last time. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Um, it's just one of those ones that's got like a dippy tube. I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to open this because my joints are not great, but I will try. Oh, there we go. I just used my um, pajama bottoms. <laughs> yes, I am wearing pajamas, don't judge me. I've literally been on steroid treatment for ages. So doing little things like this is like all I can do in a day. So yeah, that's the brush. Hopefully you can see that. It looks quite fine actually. Let's see if we can do a quick little winged liner look. Um, I'm just gonna come in a bit closer. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be able to see. I have got lashes on, I just really didn't wanna take them off. No, I'm just gonna do it over. This is really hard to do with my lashes on. Why am I making life hard for myself? Oh my God, look how thin that is. Wow. Okay, it's not the most pigmented in the world. I feel like I'm gonna have to build that up. Oh yeah, there we go. I might also try and do a graphic liner look just to make it a little bit more interesting. Plus I feel like it's so fine that this will probably be quite good for that kind of look. Yeah, it's not really like super pigmented. I'm definitely finding that I'm having to go in quite a few times to get it up to like solid color. To say if this is just a pound, I'm not sure if this one is from the pound range, but if it is just a pound, like that's kind of fine. I feel like I wouldn't mind. I'm not sure if you could find more pigmented ones that are also affordable so I don't know. I might just give up on this because I don't think that is going to work. I just don't think it's pigmented enough. So yeah it's worked fine for just like a normal wing but for graphic design I don't think it's enough. It'll be a little bit too pale. I don't have any foundation from this time that they sent me but I do have the foundation I bought last time which is this one which is super liquidy. I don't know if you can hear that. So liquidy but it was actually really good so I'm just going to use that completely just like runny. So I'm going to just pop that on and blend that in. This one was literally just a pound for this foundation, which is amazing. Like it's actually a really, really nice foundation. And um, it just literally is quite runny. The thing is with Poundland makeup, and I don't know if anybody else did this, but I feel like I wrote it off like ages ago because I just assumed that because it was so cheap that it wouldn't be any good, which I feel like I was completely wrong about. And honestly, like I like makeup and I like buying makeup, but I have to say it's like a necessity. Spending as little on makeup as possible honestly doesn't make that much of a difference to the quality. There are some foundations and some brands that I've used that are really expensive that have been amazing and really, really worth it for me. But honestly, I've tried some really good products that are really affordable too. And I feel like at the moment, everybody's trying to work out ways of like saving money and doing your makeup with more affordable products is such an easy way of doing that but it's a big scary thing for a lot of people because you've been using these products that you love for like a long time in a lot of cases and so people don't want to swap but actually sometimes if you try the cheap products you might be surprised at how good they are um and to be honest as well you could always just like change the like more expensive products and use those for when you really need to you know, make sure that you're looking like your best. But then for like work and stuff or like normal everyday kind of things, why don't you just use the cheap one? Like, I mean, I feel like it might be worth it. I know I've started using my cheaper foundations for every day quite a lot because I might as well, might as well. I couldn't find the concealer, so I'm just gonna put on some of my Barry M. This is the all night long concealer. It's one of my favorite concealers ever. I love it so, so much. Just gonna blow a little bit of that on. The only thing I would say about that foundation is it's not high coverage, like at all. If you want high coverage, it's not gonna be that. This is quite a light coverage foundation. <laughs> light coverage foundation. So yeah, just bear that in mind. I just accidentally wiped off some of my brows. So I'm just putting that back on. I don't know if I did on this side as well. No, we can't have tipless brows. 
What am I going to do? Okay, so I'm going to show you this powder. Obviously, this is a brand new one. It's really perfect and not touched, but I have the exact same one. I'm pretty sure they're the exact same shade. Yeah, translucent one. So I'm just going to use mine because I don't want to open a new one and waste it. It has got a little bit of that kind of hard pan on it just because I use this powder puff a lot. So I'm going to use my powder puff. And honestly, this powder is amazing. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my puff and just tap off the excess. It is quite matte, so I would say that if you're not a fan of matte powders, you might not like this, but I have to say as well, I've got dry skin and I feel like this works quite well for me, um, but you do have to be quite light with it. Can you see the difference? I'm hoping you can see that already. Like, it's such a good powder. I've got quite baggy under eyes at the moment as well because I'm on steroid treatment and I'm feeling quite ill a lot of the time, so my, my eyes are just like, ugh. But it's really good powder. Again, I don't have any blusher or bronzer, so I'm just going to use this one from Aldi. This is just the, uh, what's it called? I can't remember the names of it, but yeah, they've got two that are really nice in Aldi. So I'm just going to use that and just make my cheeks a little bit brighter. It's kind of like a highlighter as well, this, because it's got some gold in it. A little bit on my nose. And then we have another Aldi classic. This is the Aldi Dream Big Bronzer. This is a dupe for the, what is it? The Hu no, Hula Bronzer from benefit i want to say put that on the sides of my face and i'm just gonna go around there as well i always bring bronzer a little bit far down my neck as well just to blend it in and also i feel like it contours my neck a little bit if i do that just down these two bits here i don't know why the next thing we've got is a plumping lip gloss and i'm a bit nervous about this that it's going to be like pumping as in like spicy but it just says it's infused with peppermint oil so hopefully it's not going to be too intense i have got lip filler by the way so obviously my lips do have some plump to them already but i'm gonna leave this on for a little bit and then see if my lips actually look plumped or not i do feel like it's made my lips look plump like instantly just because they're glossy but it does feel quite nice actually it feels very refreshing i'm just gonna put a little bit more on i always feel like i look really weird when i'm putting lip products on i cannot do this in a way that looks like nice like aesthetic i can't do it i always just like Ugh. also i don't know if you can tell or not but at the moment i'm super insecure i am um because i'm like on steroids the steroids make me really insecure about everything and tense like all the time so whenever i'm doing videos for anything at the moment i'm like oh my goodness everybody's gonna hate me everything i do is terrible so i'm just trying to ignore all that and just do it anyway and just enjoy myself because i really enjoy making videos and i really enjoy makeup so i'm just going to try and focus on that side of things uh, but if i seem a little bit insecure and funny that is why <laughs> so yeah okay so they definitely feel like they've plumped a little bit but in quite a natural way and it doesn't hurt at all i feel like it has plumped them but just not like in the way that you know those burning ones do like this is just the natural nice kind of plump to them and it's done it by moisturizing my lips rather than by hurting them which is really good anyway i've got loads of lip products to try so i don't know whether to try all these lipsticks or whether to try a couple i might just try a couple but they've got all these different shades there's a red there's a pink there's two like nudie shades which look really nice and then i think this is a gloss um, oh no, liquid lipsticks. So that looks like a pinky kind of colour. So I might try that one last and then I might try a couple of these. Let's see what these are like. To start with, I'm just going to line my lips with my ordinary lip liner, which is the Barry M Blush Lip Liner. Okay, to start with, I'm going to use this shade, which is Empowered. This one is like a kind of dark colour. I don't know whether that's burgundy or what. It has got a little bit of a thing on the top where the top's fallen off very well. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's not the most pigmented in the world. Let me try and do it on here. Yeah, you can see it on there. It's not like super, super pigmented, but it's okay. It's doing the job. It's making my lips a different color, which is what you want. I'm gonna try and tidy that up. I feel like I messed that up so badly. It's really messy. Get my trusty Q-tip. I say Q-tip, I'm not American. My trusty cotton bud. Made it slightly better. <laughs> so this is the shade feisty and it does look like a gloss kind of lipstick again as well again i don't know how to put lipstick on while i like without looking weird there we go what do we think of that color i quite like that one i feel like i would like to put a little bit of um my liner just on the edges just to make it look a little bit more defined around the edges possibly i feel like this could be a new favorite shade though 
I don't know. What do you think? This is the pink one. This is confident. I'm going to put confident in my... Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's come out. Oh no, Poundland, you let me down. Let's see if I can get that to go in there. There we go. Oh no, it's very wobbly in there. I'll try and fix that later, but let's just see what it looks like on the lips. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I feel like the formula just makes my lips look really dry. I just feel like it looks really dry. I like the colour though. It's quite pretty. It's quite Barbie girl. And then we've got the red one, which is sassy. Looks beautiful. Oh. Oh, I love that one. Beautiful. In fact, I'm going to pull out a load of my lips. Hang on. Ooh, I like that. That one's really pretty. Have I got lipstick on my teeth? No, cool. That's a rare occasion that I don't have lipstick on my teeth. So that looks really pretty, actually. I'm really enjoying the formula of this red one. I feel like this one's slightly more moisturizing than the others, and I don't know why, but I really like that one. That one is actually my favorite, I think, out of all of them. I feel like this one, although it's not like super, super pigmented, it kind of works because it's like a moisturizing red. And I don't usually wear red lipstick, so I'm quite enjoying that. Lips are literally going to be red raw now because I put so many lipstick on, but I'm really excited to try this matte liquid lipstick. So this is the Just Like Matte Liquid Lipstick in Berry Smoothie. That's the applicator. Oh, this is very runny. Ooh. Okay, I've been able to do all of that with one swipe, and I have to say it feels very light. It doesn't really feel like I've got anything on my lips. It just feels like moisturizing. We'll see if this dries down okay. They've also sent me a, a priming and fixing spray. So I'm gonna use this as a fixing spray. It says it's a natural matte finish and it helps to prolong makeup wear. Um, so I'm gonna try this, let's see. Okay, not the finest mist ever. Feels nice though. I love this fan, this fan is a genius invention. It's so good, I just got it on Amazon. It's really cheap, it was great, I love it. Okay, so it's only been like two minutes or so and I feel like my lips have actually dried quite well and they look really nice. They don't look too dry. I'm quite pleased. I think they're good. And yeah, they don't feel like I've got anything on my lips. It feels really nice. You know, with some matte liquid lips, <laughs> it feels really nice. Even though I've got like a matte liquid lipstick on, it doesn't feel like it's got, you know, that horrible drying like sensation that some cheaper matte liquid liquid lipsticks have, I can't say liquid lipstick, matte liquid lipsticks have. I feel like this doesn't have that kind of dry horribleness to it. It's just nice. It feels kind of smooth and just light. Yeah. Also, I feel like the powder is holding up quite well. I am squinty at the moment just because I don't feel very well. My eyes just kind of naturally do this. Um, but there's not much creasing under my eyes. I do naturally have some fine lines under my eyes and it's not really like settled into them or exaggerated them, which is really good. The spray, I don't think has given me a matte finish. It's more like a glow, but to be honest, I prefer that. I kind of like a glow anyway. Um, and yeah, I think everything is pretty good. Honestly, the brow wax, I feel like hasn't hold up, held up like amazingly well. I think it's given me a nice shape to my brows, but it's not stuck them like laminated brows. So if that's the kind of brow you want, that's definitely not gonna be for you. The brow pencil, I think is probably my favorite thing out of the whole video. This has been really, really nice. I think the color is perfect. It's a really, really nice, easy thing to draw with and you get a spoolie, which is great. Um, the liner, I think it could have been a bit more pigmented. I wouldn't use it for anything other than just like doing my eyeliner. Like, I don't think it's that great, to be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna be using that again. The lipsticks, I actually was impressed with loads of those. The lipstick that I like the most um, I think the feel of the liquid lipstick I love, but the colour of the red lipstick and the formula of that I actually really loved, which is weird because I don't use red lipsticks as much. So yeah, that was really interesting. There are a few things that I would try again, definitely. I'm going to be using the powder because that's great. The primer I really liked as well, and um, the lipstick, I think most of those I did actually like the formula of, um, except for that pink one that was a bit weird, and um, the lip gloss as well, the plumping gloss. I actually really liked that. That was a really nice plumping gloss. I think I'm gonna use that quite a lot. Um, but yeah, the things that I didn't like so much were the liner, not a fan of that. And also the um, brow wax. I think that just didn't really do much. I think it just didn't hold up enough. There are also some nail polishes as well, which look really cute. So I'll show you the colors. There's this one, this one, this one, which is a really pretty shade. And then this one, I'm not gonna put those on now, but I just thought I'd show you them just so you know that they exist. 
mascara as well in here so let me know if you want me to do another video testing this mascara and then another brow product as well um i can always include those in a video in the future if you want me to let me know if you're going to try any of these are you going to switch to palma makeup are you going to try some maybe home bargains aldi makeup and try and sell yourself some money it is worth it i think it's worth trying it just to say you've tried if you are at the point where you're trying to save some money you can't really lose anything except for like a pound maybe because it's a pound um but yeah just see see how you feel try it if you've liked this video please do think about following me or subscribing um i am so sparkle on instagram and youtube and tiktok and i would love to have you part of the family i love posting on here because it just cheers me up and distracts me from lots of horrible pain and stuff from my health conditions so it always means the world to have people in here in this little community so thank you so much for everybody who watches me regularly you guys seriously kept me going while i was in hospital and honestly i am so grateful for that I really am and I will see you guys very soon.